So when somebody asked me like white women and their natural hair movement, I said the devil is a liar. <laughs> to my chill in the morning suckers hey it's your favorite unicorn in the whole wide brooklyn and welcome to the latest side of youtube if you are not yet subscribed to my channel hopefully by the end of the video you will change your mind okay so jumping right in one of my subscribers asked me to talk about this topic most of the topics i talk about is either very deeply in my heart or you guys suggest it white women joining the natural hair movement i think for the most part you guys know my answer would seem be this i can't for the life of me understand why we can't have shit to ourselves. like i'm, I'm just you know I've, I've come to grips with this you can't have nothing to yourself like you just can't you just so popping and so magical you can't have it to yourself because the people that you're running from they're like no but like wait <laughs> let me touch it it seems like you know what everyone has hair right everyone wants to take care of their hair everyone or a lot of people for the most part have put some type of chemical or heat to their hair whether it be a relaxer maybe it was coloring or hair dye um, flat ironing blow drying all of these teams but there is a difference between having hair issues and having hair hate hair issues you know like oh i have split ends or oh you know i need to touch up my roots oh my god my hair is so greasy right there's a difference between having hair issues and having hair hate actually hating your hair because the system tells you that you need to change your hair that your hair is not beautiful that you have bad hair that you can't get a job with that hair that that hair is ugly you can't get married with that hair you better do something to your hair you going to school with your hair like that all of that negative noise creates an actual hate causes you to actually despise the way that god made you naturally and this is what the movement is for so let's not keep it real surface level to be like oh well everyone has hair and everyone has done something to their hair that they just should just be natural that's not the movement that's not the point of the movement okay so they need to start a different movement for disliking whatever going for flat ironing i don't know they need to start something over there the natural hair movement was specifically specifically started for women of color to go natural to embrace your curls and your kinks and go natural even being natural you know it varies on a um on a scale right one might say well i don't have a relaxer i'm natural one might say well i don't wear weave i'm natural so it varies from person to person to be honest one might say oh you know doing the stretching method that's not natural you should leave your hair in its shrunk and say that's natural everyone has a different opinion on what's natural but we can all agree that the natural hair movement was to get women of color in my opinion specifically black women to love our natural hair to wear our natural hair to embrace our natural hair so i'm just really confused as to if we're trying to run away from european standards and embrace afrocentric standards i'm confused as to how did white people inject themselves to say yeah well i'm gonna run away from european standards too like no you are the european standard what are you talking about, what are you talking about? <laughs> That's also the problem that I have with black fishing. It's like, okay, you know, we're embracing our dark skin. These beautiful dark skin girls on Instagram getting their life, getting their likes, getting their coin. And you want to put on some dark skin so you can get likes, life, and coin, and coin too? No. It's like the world is ever orbiting around the white Eurocentric beauty standard. And we're like, yo, like y'all could orbit over there. We just going to go over here and be black and beautiful. And it's like, well, wait, you have to orbit around us though like wait and we're like uh all right you can say there we going over here but wait you have to orbit around us gentrification y'all trying to gentrify the natural hair movement we get penalized and we get attacked for saying well listen this is not about you this is about us it's like we can't ever have nothing as a black community to ourselves and when we speak out and say hey you shouldn't do that hey you shouldn't cultural appropriate hey you shouldn't pretend to be black and then wash your blackness off at night when we say that, we get penalized, we get called haters, we get called, no, we're not haters, we're lovers of ourselves, and we want to protect our community and we want to protect ourselves. Say all that to say, like, what is your movement, sis? What is your movement when you are the standard, when you can open any magazine, when you can Google hair and we're going to see you, when you can open any magazine, we're going to see you. When you ask a bunch of people, what's good hair? They'll say yours. So what is, what exactly is the movement? What is the process? What is the unlearning? What, what, what are you unpacking? Like what's happening? So when somebody asks me like white women and their natural hair movement, I've said the devil is a liar. We don't all start at the starting line when we're 
born. Some people start a hundred yards ahead and we're running and we have to catch up. We have to be two times as fast, you know what I mean? To even catch up on a starting point, okay? So it's not fair to, to, to start movements, to empower women of color, change the whole narrative of good hair, bad hair, and then now you want to jump onto the bandwagon like, yeah, let's be natural. Nobody ever denied you a job for having straight, silky, flowing hair. Nobody ever said your straight, silky, flowing hair wasn't the beauty standard. Now, if it was a little greasy and you needed to wash your hair, that's different. But, I mean, how long did that take? Like, you were never dehumanized for your natural giving hair texture. You were never denied access for your natural given hair texture. So there is literally no need for you to be a part of a movement of people who were literally crucified for having natural, nappy, beautiful hair. Do I think all women should try their best to keep their hair um, healthy? Of course, we're human at the end of the day. We all wanna be healthy, of course. But this movement is about loving something that people have told you you shouldn't love. Embracing something that people have told you you need to hide because it's not good enough. How can you then inject yourself into that movement proudly? I was buying some natural hair care products the other week and I was just shocked because you know how like the, the um, the aisles are a little bit different. Like you'll have the section, which is clearly, obviously the kinky ethnic sec, the kinky curly section. And then you'll have like the section that's not really marketed to black people, but it's not marketed to white people either. But it's just like, you know what I'm trying to say? You no, know, I picked up a product and I saw this white woman, she picked up the same product and she was like, oh, you know, do you like this? You know, how does it work? And I said to her, I said, honestly, I would recommend this for you. And I walked down closer to her section. I said, yo, I really like, like, you know, I would really do this product for you because this one is a bit heavier. You know, it was actually a castor oil. And I'm like, this one is a castor oil. Like it's really heavy. And she was like, yeah, you know, I heard about the natural hair movement. I'm just trying to figure out. I said, yeah, but the natural hair movement is about people who... <laughs> I had to break it down for her, y'all. I had to kind of school her a little bit, but I did it in a nice, polite way. Like, I'm not, like, I'm not a bitch, I promise. Like, I'm a sweetheart. So I broke it down to her in the nicest, nicest way possible, but she understood, you know what I mean? So people are confusing the natural hair movement. They're thinking it's an all-inclusive package. It's not, and that's okay. Like, that's okay. You can still get your products, you know, but don't be putting no castor oil in your hair talking about some yeah i'm down with the natural hair movement because your hair is gonna look real nasty stringy and way down you're gonna look crazy point blank period <sighs> okay y'all i am done let me know what y'all think of white women injecting themselves into the natural hair movement do you feel like hey why not they have hair maybe they want to go a little bit more natural or than you know coloring their hair blonde maybe that maybe they maybe they won't touch up their roots anymore it's fine they can join the movement or do you feel like listen like it's okay to have our own shit and this is our shit and that's it be sure to a like this video b subscribe to my youtube channel three oh see <laughs> see hit the notification bell and even though you have hit the notification bell youtube be on some fuck shit okay youtube i'm calling you out because i see what you're doing youtube be on some fuck shit so make sure that you check in on my channel maybe every day or every other day just check in to see if there are any new uploads because nine times out of ten there'll be a couple new uploads that i'm sure you're absolutely interested in hope your girl on her road to 100k i just reached 30k the other day and i'm doing a giveaway where's the book so in honor of my 30k subscribership goal, subscribership, subscriber goal, I will be giving away Becoming by Michelle Obama to one of my lucky subscribers. So make sure you check out the community section because I will actually be posting it today and I'll be letting you guys know how you can possibly win Becoming. It's an international contest. So all my girls in Africa, all my guys in the Caribbean, everybody that's in Asia, wherever you are, you have a chance to win this book. So make sure you check out the community section and that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, okay? I'll see you guys next time.